Hello everyone, Rory is here, back with Portal 2, but this time I thought I'd show you something that I got a little while ago, <laughs> not too long after the game came out. Um, they released this, what they call the Sixth Sense Motion Pack. Now, this is a pack that's purely designed for the Razor Hydra, if you can see the controls here. <laughs> um, yeah, essentially this game came out, well, Sixth Sense released a pack that was purely for motion control for Portal 2, so, and it has some interesting features that, uh, Portal 2 doesn't normally have. Yeah, so this is just a, a pack that the, that came with this device, with the Razor Hydra. So, I, what I'll do is I'll just go through, I actually haven't played this in a while, so, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how do I do this again? Am I holding these in the right hands? Yeah, left and right, cool. Um, yeah, so basically these controllers, with these controllers, you can, you can actually play original Portal 2 if you want. But, um, they're specialty map packs, specifically for the Hydra. <laughs> I shouldn't have done the tutorial, I should've just gone, um, straight into the main pack. Nevertheless, <laughs> we shall continue. There are some pretty cool features when it comes to the, uh, the motion control. So, like, there's a bunch of map packs purely designed for it. Yeah, so the left, the left controller is used for... Um, things like jump, you can do the motion gesture for jumping, and I think there are other things you can do with it as well, but, um, the right stick is used entirely for camera view, and... Oh god, it's gonna continue to, to tell me. It's gonna t continue to tell me tutorial stuff. It's probably a button to get rid of that, but I don't remember what it is. Um, but yeah, so you just... One of the, actually, an interesting feature that they added with this is that because you don't know how far out you're holding it, if you hold a box over a button... There we go. It'll, the little button sign, if you look closely, the button, the sign on the button goes from blue to yellow. And so when you let go, it'll fall and fall, the box will fall successfully onto the button. So yeah, it's a bunch of little details like that that um, make this really interesting, a really unique kind of experience. Um, are we about to get the... Oh god, the... My, my control of it's a bit wonky. Um... Yeah, so this is, these are just the, this, this first puzzle is all about the, uh, hovering boxes and things, using the distance, uh, they call it one-to-one -one tracking. I think they just call it part of the one-to-one -one tracking. Uh, yeah, you can move boxes out and away from your character. I think the controls also are a little bit weird because the, um, I'm having to sit sort of on the side of my disc in order to use the right st right handle. I think that'll probably be better if I hold my arm further to the right. The cord unfortunately is really short and my computer is quite far away from my monitor. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, that is. But yeah, so... <laughs> these, these test... these puzzles are really interesting. And I don't know how many people actually manage to play them because you have to have a Razor Hydra to, to play them. Uh, cool. Just a path over here. I think I have both. Oh god, I nearly fell into the water. Um, into the acid. Is there a surface over here that I can portal? I, gotta f I keep forgetting what buttons jump. Or can I? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. See, what you got, what you gotta do is you place an orange portal over there. I think this is all you have to do. Ah, yeah, this is a little detail that I'll show you later that's really interesting with the, um... <laughs> with the portals in this version of Portal 2. Can you reach it all the way through there? It doesn't feel like you can. Hmm. You definitely need to put it through there. Is this the throw one? This might be the one where you're, it's, you're wanting, they're wanting you to throw it. Um, because I don't think I can reach all the way. Oh, yeah, I can actually. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I can't. I died. I died. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to try something. I think I'll just quick save it real quick. <laughs> if you use this, like, extendo feature, you can actually sort of, like, throw the box. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't think that's the intended solution, but I... I sucked, so, yeah. Interesting random detail in this is that you can manipulate portal placements 
uh, on the fly with this controller. Oh god, I nearly ruined myself. But yeah, it's just <laughs> some real neat features. Uh, which make like the whole portal not being able to be on moving surfaces an interesting thing <laughs> in this. Just looking at how, how this is working. I think, oh god. <laughs> so I'm not being a very good candidate for this, am I? Advocate. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, here we go. So yeah, if you just go push it out and do that again. Ooh. There we go. Cool. So yeah, if you have it set, if you have the station set up right, you get, it's less buggy. But my my uh, sort of magnetic station thing, razor station, is at a weird sort of angle um, to the side of my desk. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. So there's a there's a bunch of different things you can do with this. Uh, there's I think there's one more one more major feature that they're gonna show uh, very soon. Oh, Aim gonna... at a portal, then. Pr yeah, yeah. I already showed that. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Where are we going? What's what's up with this? Right, so this is what they're talking about for this particular one. Okay, stop it. <laughs> if you can, if you can do this, if you can place it horizontally, you can move it across like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how. Oh god. I wonder how many people were expecting that. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, you can do things like, if you can't just place, you can't just place a portal there, unfortunately, because the portal like wouldn't fit, but if you rotate it first and then push it in, <laughs> you can get the portal onto that surface. <laughs> As I said, breaks a lot of places in uh, Portal 1. Sorry, in, in the original Portal 2. Okay. What, let's have a look. What am I doing? Okay, it just wasn't, it wasn't active yet because I wasn't, didn't have a portal placed yet. So yeah, this is your example of, there we go, <laughs> you just manipulate the portal to be facing the correct direction. Perfect. The motion can be a little bit weird when you first get, when you first try and use it, but I, I actually really like, this game is the only game that really utilized the Razer's capabilities, uh, which is unfortunate because it's, the Razer's are not a bad device. But it's just, uh, no, not very many games supported it, and so most other games, the only uses you could have of it, have for it, were the gestures, which is like, you know, the jumping is a gesture, for instance. Um, really limited what you could actually do with the, you know, what was actually functional with the Razer. The only thing that's annoying is that if you want to move your portal, just, to, you know, I, have to, I often don't shoot quite center, and then I want to center the portal myself. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh god. There we go. And then, yeah, okay, it went across. I was gonna say, if you can't, usually if you don't have line of sight, it doesn't really allow you to move stuff, so you have to get get into line of sight first. And then, oh, I keep pressing the wrong freaking button to jump. <laughs> there we go. Cool. See, these puzzles don't, uh, these particular ones aren't very advanced. These are just the standard ones. There are a set of advanced puzzles as well, which I might do if I have time. But yeah. These are less, less well known, I think. These puzzles are less well known purely because not very many people have a Razor Hydra. <laughs> it unfortunately did not do too well, sales-wise. As far as I remember, as far as I, I have, no. As far as I know. <clears throat> yeah, so we're at four or seven, That's not a, not a whole lot. That, that uh, turret can't quite see me just yet. Okay. Oops. There we go. Yes, and this, this kind of stuff... Oh, God. It is around here where the stuff starts to get a little bit more weird. Um, I'm just going to walk across. And what, which portal do I need? The blue one. Cool. Oops. 
<laughs> my aiming is way off. Oh god, I nearly fell down one of the- oh no, they're, they're not actually holes. Oh god. I did not see that. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I figured this- figured as much. Yeah, so there's- there's another- yet another example of how you can utilize <laughs> the, uh, rotating portal. Oh god. Hand- get your hand steady, Rory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this this is an example of where you can't use this because the portal space is too small. Um, I don't think I can shoot any further. Is there anywhere else I can shoot? Hmm. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> Unless, oh, I know, I'm an idiot. I used- I did the right- I did the right solution, but I did it in the wrong place. Okay, just give me a minute. <laughs> um, actually, I shouldn't need that one there. So yeah, what you do is you do this. Oh, well, not quite. You do that. There we go. There. And now when you place the blue portal, it's already set for you. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, actually, that, I'm pretty sure the setup, the way that they did this level, was they they did this succession of things purely to teach you that, you know, you can do it on either side, you can, yeah, it doesn't matter which portal you rotate, as long as one of them's rotated, then you can get the, you can redirect the thing. Okay, I think this is where, as an example of where they have the, <laughs> an example of moving cover. I'll try and... Problem, I, well, the only problem is I can't show the turret very well, because uh, you've got to be sort of looking at the, where the portal is. <laughs> but yeah, there's a cool little feature of that, a cool use for that. I think these are really neat. I actually do think these are really neat. Um, okay, can I just... Daredevil it and... Just daredevil. And just go, like, this? Okay, I'm just going to quick save it real quick. <laughs> now I have one of these that I can also angle. I think if you angle it up like this, does it does it die? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. And oh god, oh, I'm holding it weird again. Okay. So once again, we just get the. I think if we just have the. Uh, what would be best for this? I think I think the other one, the the thing is just flat, isn't it? So I can just go like this. Yeah. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then you just hop down here. Perfect. So yeah, the puzzles do get a lot more complicated uh, down the line, I think. I think, <laughs> as far as I recall. These ones are fairly straightforward. Ah, uh, I think the next one, the next room is the one where we get to try out uh, this cool cool other major feature that this the controllers allow you to do. Yeah, scaling. <laughs> okay, yep. Yep, I know. I already know. <laughs> okay, so what the scaling is, is... Is it... Yeah, this... Okay, so that's how you, how you do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have to be fully out. You have to be in the outer state. <laughs> yeah. Now you got a huge freaking cube. <laughs> so yeah, you can you can do all sorts of cool things with that. Uh, one of the things that I thought was really cool that was actually sort of admittedly not a baseline feature but was, oh god, <laughs> but was sort of added in. There we go. You just push it up against the button. The button. <laughs> um, Something that they've added in later on is a, is a real cool feature that's related to weight. The weight of the cube, when it's much larger, it's a lot heavier. Um, even though, in physics, it makes no sense, but... Oh well. Uh, yeah, so I think this is the one where you just gotta go, like, skinny. <laughs> and then you can just push it through here and drop it on. Oh god, it's not... It didn't land on the button! Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Yeah. I think it's another example of the using the the way that this cube works. I mean, they're all this is all just tutorial like stuff, really. Um, so yeah, th this one here you don't you go a little further. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it real long, cube. Okay. So it's just another another long cube. Cool. Yeah, and so there, there, I mean, some of these features... <laughs> that's right. This is really impressive, actually. This is something that I thought was like, holy crap. <laughs> how do, I was like, how do they do this? Um, oh God. The physics of the cube. I, this is something that I don't fully understand. Like... I know sort of how they had to do, how they had to modify the physics engine to allow cubes and objects, physics objects, to be still have physics around portals, but like I don't know how they, how this works. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I have ideas of how how I ha I have a. It's there in my brain, but I just still think, how the hell was that coded? <laughs> how did they actually achieve that? So yeah, okay, we're in test chamber six. One more after this one. See, I keep trying to, I should use the freaking gesture. I keep trying to uh, jump with the pick up box button. Um, I think this is the one where you're supposed to do this. You make it a little bit wider. And then, oh, th no, this way. Uh, yeah, this way. And then you just drop it and then you, oh God, no. <laughs> I picked it up as I was okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the gestures. There we go. Yeah, and then you can pick it back up. And so how do you? Oh, there we go. Is you can just double tap the uh, scale button and it will reset it. Ugh. <laughs> See, I love that you can do that. One more time. One more time. Okay, I'm gonna get the box out here so I can go. Ugh. Okay, that was that was pathetic. <laughs> I don't care. Um, okay. Oh god. Okay, stop. Stop. Freaking out. Stop it. <laughs> this is. Okay, that works. It's not exactly center, but it works. Um. Okay, one of these things has not been pressed. One of these buttons. What does this button do? Oh, it opens the final test. Final room. Um, I think, can I... Oh, sorry, I placed the orange portal, I can place blue still. Is there somewhere I can portal while I'm in here? Is it that simple? No, it's not. <laughs> As it shouldn't be. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting, the reflection doesn't appropriately reflect the fact that these are orange now. Um, huh. Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay, okay. That took me a second, but I suddenly realized what I was doing. Oh god. Why did that do that? Okay, um, so what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna let go of the box while it's there so that I can then pick it up slightly more like that. And so you, you get this through the portals, like this, and drop it so that it's on both the buttons, like that. And then, because of the physics in this game, it, oh, it's so... I'm always so weirded out by this. To get You get in here, and then, I mean, which, oh, which button do I... which button do I do? Okay, blue. And then you, you come through here and you place the blue portal there, and it places the box on the next button. And... <laughs> so the, you know, the the far side of one of the boxes. <laughs> it's just ah, my brain. If you don't fully understand that, that's okay. Because it's a weird, weird, uh, 
solution. <laughs> it's such a weird puzzle. <laughs> Sorry if I've been off center in the camera this whole time. Uh, yeah. The positioning of stuff is not ideal. But I'm probably only going to do the one episode of this, so it's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, it's been been ages since I've actually played these, so I don't actually remember most of the solutions to these. Uh, let's have a look. Oh wait, I can just I can get myself up there. Silly, silly Billy. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now what I'm gonna do is... nope. Okay. I'm a liar. I'm <laughs> like, I understand now. No. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the rotated portal thing is for the uh, ex excursion funnel over there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do what I thought I was going to do before. And I didn't, for some reason. There we go. Uh, um... Huh. <laughs> this is perplexing. This is the only. Th this is actually something that I always thought about when it came to uh, making episodes on YouTube. Is I thought to myself, I like I love playing Portal, and I love making. I, I I made a couple of videos on Portal before I ever you know it was the first thing I ever recorded was Portal Two, as far as I recall. Um, but I never uploaded it because I actually thought to myself, oh. People will never be interested in seeing someone struggle to solve a puzzle. <laughs> you know, I thought, surely people aren't interested in that. But, um, turns out I was I was rather wrong. There was actually quite a lot of interest still behind Portal 2. Ah! Oh, wow. That took me a while to figure out. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, didn't, I just didn't click. It just didn't click in my brain. So I need to shoot the orange portal up to there. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm up here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. And so the the good new they give you little spaces like this that make it a little bit easier to manipulate the box. So you pull it out a bit, so it's a bit more of a bridge. And then uh uh somewhere around here you go. Get it to about as large as you can get it. Um, yep, I'll go around this way. Oh god. There we go. Uh, eh. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. I don't like using the gesture for jumping. Just purely because gestures aren't always... They don't always register when and where you want them to. Okay, so that reverses the direction of the flow. So I think I just picked this back up. Oop. Reset the scale. And then drop this on here. Don't I? Um. <laughs> do I do this from here? That would make sense. Okay, one second. Uh. There we go. Now if I, now if I reverse the direction, I can place it places. So what I could do is let that go all the way back to there, and then while I'm over here, do this from over here. Oh god. It's not liking... There we go. Sort of. Nope, nope. Come on, keep twisting. <laughs> keep twisting. Okay, it worked. There we go. There we go. Now I reverse the direction. And the box will slowly but surely make its way through the portal out over to where the button is. Maybe? Yeah. There we go. And then to get back, I think I can do this to get back. Can I see it from here? No, I can't. Damn. <laughs> Hmm. 
Wait, can I just... Oh. Oops. Wrong one. Of course, this can just take me back. Yeah. Here. I I've screwed it up, haven't I? I've royally screwed it up. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wait. What I could do is I could do this. This is going to be dodgy as all hell. But, uh, wimp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I solved it. <laughs> Whoa, that's weird. So, you know, being in an exertion funnel. I always want to say exertion, but it's, I think it's excursion funnel. Being in an excursion funnel and landing and, like, placing a uh, hard light surface portal underneath yourself. Switching between uh, excursion and hard light. It's weird. Okay, so, if I'm not mistaken, some of the advanced chambers are just alternative versions of ones that were already there. I might be mistaken. I might be entirely mistaken, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> I think I was just saying nonsense, and I think the, um, you actually do have to. There are brand new puzzles, as far as I recall. Actually, I think you placed the first one up there. Just so you get the box. There we go. And then... Uh, what, what activates this? It's that button up there. Okay. So you go like that. Place that there. Um, and I know you need a box on here to get the next one. Okay, so there's another dropper up there. Hmm. No, that's right, I remember now. Do I remember? No, I don't. <laughs> I keep saying that. Oh, I remember, and then immediately... Oh, wait. Never mind. What was that? <laughs> I can hear things moving. I can't see them. Alright, so basically, yeah, I've got, I've got to use the one-to-one -to, -one to get a box onto this surface here. But... Oh, right, of course, I can get up there now. God, sometimes, Rory. <laughs> okay, and this is where I think I can get a, a new box, or I just, I place, I get rid of the old box and I just get a new one. Yeah. And it will come to me. There we go. And I actually think this is where I've got to go like this. Yeah. go like this and yeah oh god stop it <laughs> I keep having to tell my the controller I keep having to reorient my hands because I'm doing it dumb there we go and that activates some of the ledge there and this one oh it's the same it is the same one huh yeah that's right I remember now I remember now yeah so yeah, you need a box for that button there to open this door, and so what you do is, yeah, shoot a portal air, portal air, press a button, it resets the stairs that you've just used, <laughs> but of course, because you got one to one, eh, there we go, yeah, <laughs> solution, see it wasn't so hard, it wasn't so advanced, but to be fair, I think I did get stuck on that for a while when I first did it. It helps to already have solved them in the past, so that it's the memory is there somewhere. <laughs> you just gotta find it. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, making our way. So there's a box falling into the acid from over here. I think it only falls in once just to show you that it's there and that it's not going to come to you normally. If 
I'm not mistaken. Can you just do it straight away? Do I do I need to do it straight away? Okay, wait. First, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna get this one. Yeah, this is a this is a laser cube. And actually, the the advanced chambers are much cooler in the sense that you can utilize things like the laser cubes in really interesting ways. Um, all right, I'm just gonna place portal. Uh, yep, they've, lit, they've given me the nice little light cue. So what they, what you can do is, I mean, you can do it normally, but you just do this. <laughs> yeah, that activates that. And now, uh, as far as I recall, uh, this is this one's actually pretty simple, relatively speaking. And what you can do is, you need the cube, you need the uh, laser to be hitting that that roof tile there. So what you do is, you get this out there. And then you rotate it. Oh god, the disc is going to be in the way. There we go. <laughs> See, you face it upwards and then you let go so that the cube is shooting the laser upwards. I think that's neat. <laughs> ah, and then I need the cube again. One last time. Um, oh, that's right, you just can use this one. You don't need to get the original one, you can use the laser cube. Yeah. And now I'm just going to get rid of this to get it out of the way. And once again, another quick one-to-one -one up here. Oh god, I'm holding the. Once again, I'm holding it weird. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it landed perfectly on the button, despite the fact that I actually lost control of it. Yeah. So, this isn't actually a new puzzle. This is part of the same puzzle. Okay. <laughs> it landed on me. I was kind of hoping it would do that. Um, <laughs> for the lols. Um, alrighty, so if I'm not mistaken, there is a button up there that you can reach. Ooh. And you can one to one in there. So, yeah, actually, when I'm using this, the, what, the uh, cube funneling is also quite prevalent because you can immediately see where the. Um, cube sort of falls towards the uh, falls towards the button instead of like just falling naturally okay how do I get up there again I actually remember this one and being confused as hell as to how you do this one oh that's right wow I'm remembering it really well this time oh god I pressed the wrong button damn it <laughs> I did it right this time, but I pressed I, I, my bat. My um, button timing was bad. My button game. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so here's the start of using the the uh, laser cube really in a cool way, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, and actually I think you have to continue to do that for um, the actual puzzle as well. Anyway, this one first, if I'm not mistaken. Keep going, keep going. I don't know if I need this cube or not, but I'm going to keep it. Okay, I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now we've got some paint going. Uh, advanced portal surfing. So this is the use uh, sliding the portals around. Um, yeah. Okay. So this actually, I think this is one of the ones that I got real. Like, it took me freaking ages to solve. I actually thought it was a community map, but I, I, fa I find now that it's actually um, the uh, Sixth Sense level. Yeah, so I like that you can move the cube around in your, in your view. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get the blue paint going. Oop, wrong button. Um, alright. 
so I believe you need that to, uh, you need that going for yourself. Yeah. So right away, one of the things that you got to do, I know, I know you got to do, is to go, wham and uh, wham. There we go. Get some paint up there. I think I believe that's actually all the paint you need. Um, did I? I do have the box. So yeah, actually, that's all the paint you need. So actually, I'll just I'll just get a new box so that it disintegrates the old one. Oh, almost forgot the actual box. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you just bounce on the bounce paint. You drop this off here, and then once again you bounce on the bounce paint. For some reason, I feel like that was really like really hard to solve when I first did that chamber. <laughs> I, I remember it being really confusing, or being stuck there for ages for some reason. Okay. So, we've got some orange paint. Uh, Alright, I should just do this one first. Come on, get in there. There we go. Uh, shoot that up there. I think actually you can do this, so it goes further, yeah there we go. You can rotate the direction that the portal is facing so the paint comes out at different angles, like that. <laughs> I think it's really neat, um, oops, get that on there, okay I think that's all I need for now, because I just need to get up to the top there. It's interesting the music that they chose for this particular chamber, yeah so now you can do uh, do you just start spreading it? I forget. Um, I'm gonna place the blue portal down there. And then it'll, you'll get, there'll be white paint going everywhere. Um, I don't remember if you actually need it for anything other than, I, I actually don't think you need it for any other purpose other than this. Just hop back down here. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a simpler solution than I remember it being. <laughs> I, I would say that is something that is quite hard to, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit a little bit hard when you're developing levels for the likes of Portal or any sort of puzzle game, is that because you're solving them, you I mean, sorry, because you're creating them, the solution was always in your brain or you know the solution was fundamental to the creation of the puzzle so it's really hard to determine just solo whether or not your puzzle is going to be any good you know whether it's going to be solvable or whether it's going to be interesting or you know it's, it's really difficult to like sometimes I, I make some puzzles and I think oh this is going to suck because I think it's either super easy or it's you know it's a really obvious solution but then people try it and they are so confused or they you know they don't have any idea what the hell they, they got to do and I think to myself I, I suddenly realize oh okay <laughs> you know it's like that this puzzle that I thought was gonna be really hard turns out to be actually really really easy way too easy um, or vice versa I think I the framing of that that um, I think I said puzzle that I thought was easy was, was too easy. Uh, I, I meant puzzle that's easy was too hard or vice versa, you know. Basically, you don't know your puzzle. Your own puzzle. <laughs> it's, it's hard to know your own puzzle. Um, yeah. I'll stop rambling now. <laughs> okay. Now, this is one that also seems, I seem to recall stumping me. So I'm gonna change, oh right. Can you stop it once you've started? Okay, you can. Cool. I just thought it'd be nicer, easier if I did it like this. Oops, wrong portal. How does this work now? I know that I've got to utilize... I know that I need bounce paint. Um, up there. I'm just going to immediately orient it the way I think I need it oriented. Like that. And then I'm going to uh, start up the blue paint, so that hopefully I don't spread too much blue paint around. Okay, there we go. Good, good. And then I just move it up and down so that it covers this wall. Uh, 
No. I do need it around the other way. <laughs> ah, I got blue paint on my floor. <laughs> yeah, you get some blue paint on this wall, so you can do the double bounce, the, you know, the bounce thing that you do. And I think that's it for the blue paint. I think I've, that's all I need the blue paint for. So we'll turn that off. Actually, no, I need it for this as well, don't I? Um, what's with the little circle? It's weird. I'm sure there's something that triggers that. But I'm pretty sure I need uh, bounce paint at somewhere around here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my rot- oh god. Okay, back. Move my hand back. That's where I'm supposed to be. Where it's supposed to be. Okay, get this down here like that, and then some orange, uh, some orange portal there. <laughs> okay, that's enough bounce paint for forever. <laughs> so don't need any more bounce paint after that. Okay, and then I uh, get this going. Oh, God, place it down there and then place it back there. There we go. Now it's centered. <laughs> uh, get the orange paint flowing again. I know I need the white paint for something. I just don't remember what. Is it for doing the rest of this? Yeah, I feel like when you have it on the floor like this, it's a lot easier to rotate and control. Oh, don't want it going too far across. I want to get it pretty close to the blue paint. There we go. There. And I'll turn this off just to, just for my, oh god, nearly went bouncing like crazy. Um, so, how do I, how do I view that? How do I get a portal over there? Oh, right, no, to start with, it's just that one, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to quick save it, because I think this can be a little bit temperamental. Okay, did not bounce high enough. Okay. I definitely know you, yeah, you got to have the orange paint on here, because that's why they've got the arrows and stuff. Um. <laughs> why do I not try all the buttons? I annoy myself when I do that kind of thing. Okay, so I just need orange paint everywhere. Oh god. Get down, boy. There we go. I think I've covered most of it, and I'm going to try and get as much of the area as possible. It's not really, that's not really doing anything. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's enough for now. Orange and a blue portal. I'm just going to place a blue portal over here. Just to get rid of it from that surface and then recenter it. Cool. There we go. Okay, now we quick save it. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, shoot the portal down there. Okay, I've done it. Yeah! <laughs> a little bit all over the place, but that's mainly because of the way I'm holding the controllers. But yeah, that was fun! <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, this episode's getting really long. <laughs> Hopefully I can edit out a lot of me just trying to figure stuff out. Okay, I think we're on the last chamber, aren't we? This is the very last chamber of this particular... Oh no, no, we've got a, one more. This is the one that I was thinking of when I was thinking of the... This is the one that a lot of people think of generally when they think of the uh, this this map pack. Because it's quite the interesting chamber. So it utilizes a lot of what we've already learned. So we've got this whole thing where you got to make a little bridge. Okay just as long as you can make it. Yep, there we go. Back this way. And over as the bridge. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And now this is this is a really interesting... Oh, what's this? Okay, no, nothing special. Okay, this is actually the really interesting puzzle. It tells you how to do it here. Well, sort of tells you. But you've got this, like pane of glass down here and there's a portal placeable surface so you don't trap yourself but like it it's apparent as far as you can tell so like, how do I do this <laughs> okay so what you got to do 
is if you drop, I'm gonna quick save it actually. Um, yeah, just quick save it again. If you drop this box like this over the over the glass, it just lands on the glass and bounces right off. Now if I load, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go through the effort of having to get the box back again. If we load, cool. There we go. So yeah, one, if we load, then what we can do is. I don't know if I need to actually make it really huge, but I'm just going to make it huge. I'm not going to make it completely uh, full possible size. But if you do this, and then you drop the box like that, it smashes the glass! <laughs> yeah! Because, essentially... Oh. Ah, trying to shrink it back down again. I don't want to fall off into the water. There we go. Essentially, yeah. The, um... <laughs> the box is large enough and heavy enough to break the glass. So you break the glass. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you lose the box here. But here's another great random use of um, the extension. <laughs> it's execution. Okay, so one of the things that you can do here is, I believe here, there's a... Pivot cube. This is the this is the level that I always think of that has all of the features and is the most interesting. Um, now they did for this particular part of the puzzle. They did that whole thing where the the turrets can't see you through portals, so they won't automatically try and shoot you. But what you do is you you one to one through the portal and you do this again. Oop. <laughs> and can you just, um, I feel like you can just jump, oh, okay, this is, a, this is just a staircase. <laughs> it's like, you can jump down, but no, it's just a, <clears throat> just a staircase. Alrighty, so yeah, this is a, it's just a really cool little nifty puzzle that includes all of the elements of the game. All of the elements of this stretchy, stretchy hands and scooty, oh, actually, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the sliding portals, it's, it's only got... The only one that's missing is the portal surfing. But yeah. So yeah, it's just a really... <laughs> this map pack is a really neat set of... Uh, it's, like a, it's like a demo, a test demo for this kind of uh, hardware. <clears throat> so, we are the f at the final test. Yeah, so this has a lot of, uh, surfing, as far as I recall. What they call surfing. You bastard. <laughs> okay. Um, for now, I think it just has the stretchy cube. Stretchy McStretcher- Stretcher Okay, that's too- too stretchy. I'm gonna firstly just sh uh, shrink it down this way. Oh god, there- there we go. And then, wide. And then you can just use this as a shield. What I am curious about... Oh god. What I am curious about is whether the bullet holes also stretch. No, the bullet holes are actually relative to the size of the cube. That's really interesting. Oh god. Go back out there so I can get rotate you around. Can you shrink it? I'm trying to shrink it. <laughs> uh, the bullet holes shrink with the. That's so interesting. I wonder if you can get new bullet holes on it and whether they are also now shrunk. No, it has a combination of shrunken bullet holes and large size bullet holes. <laughs> That's super interesting. Okay, uh, just gonna reset you for a second while I reorient my hands again and um, figure out what I'm supposed to do. Right, I think you just you just use standard portals there and what you do is you just make a large enough one to block the whole area. So, I'll do that now. I'll stand back. Oh god. <laughs> so you get it full width. And then, um, 
<laughs> like that. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Fingers crossed. I don't think it will be. Can I push it a little bit? Eh. Eh. Nope. Okay. Oh god. Calm down. <laughs> I need to put it further out. I keep not putting it far enough. Okay, there we go. Now they should be there should be a sort of a, a sliver of space on either side that um I don't need to worry too much about. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Um alrighty, I'm just gonna Oh god. <laughs> so I had a feeling that might happen. Um, so I'll just create another quick quick shield. Oh god. Oops. Alrighty. I think I think that's okay. I think we've we're okay now. For a second. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> um I think this is what I've got to do. If I'm not mistaken, I've got to grab the cube. I, silly, silly me didn't take the cube with me. Um, okay. So well, yeah, what you got to do is if you put the button, if you put this box on the button to uh, straight away, the platform starts moving before you can get to it. So what you do is you. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! Where did it go? Did I lose it? Did I just lose it into the void of? No, okay, I just lost it to the side of the portal. I gotta keep. I keep moving my hands out of the range of my uh, freaking hydra. Okay, so you just one to one it through the through the portal, place it on the button, so that you raise up. Yeah, and then uh, which one was it? So it's blue, blue portal. I can take the box back. And then there's at least one more thing. I think we've got to quickly, briefly, um, destroy the turrets. Yeah, because there's a button inside the turret box that we've got to utilize. So yeah, <laughs> as they say, Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna make it quite as big this time. And if I'm good, actually no, I should make it even bigger. Make it not able to actually fall down the pit. Okay. No, 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 no. There we go. And then make this side really big. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> All the turrets exploding and the button being pressed. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So that was the end of the That's the end of those tests. <laughs> end of the success levels. And probably the last one of the last times I'll ever use my Razor Hydro. <laughs> Oh dear. Alrighty, this is just the six cents credits again. Don't need to watch that. So yeah, <laughs> just a just a w random one-off episode. I was gonna I decided to do today. I actually wasn't init initially going to do these uh, levels, but I there was some, there was something else I was going to record, but then I decided that uh, I'd I'd go back. I'd revisit Portal Two again just for a, just for a one-off. Uh, you know, I, I was I was planning to do this recording at some point in the future, um, but I, I, yeah, I just decided that because I was only going to do the one episode today, I'd just do this one. Admittedly, I have made this recording incredibly long, <laughs> and so I'm probably going to have difficulties getting it up on time. Uh, anyway, I, I was trying to avoid this. <laughs> I was trying to avoid this. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But anyway... <laughs> 
I hope you enjoyed that nonetheless. Just interesting insight into the Sixth Sense motion pack and into the Razor Hydra. And it's it's probably this is pro- this game. It's probably the the greatest use of the Razor Hydra of any game. Like most other games that that can use it, just use it uh, with the most like basic motion control. It's it's kind of like one of those early motion controllers that people didn't really know how to use it properly in the games that they already had. Um, and so they used like ratcheting, what they call ratcheting features, to turn, which means that you can turn a certain, you can turn like sort of like ninety degrees. But then if you want to turn any further, you have to hold the button down, hold a button down, return the motion controller to its original position, and then and then let go and move it again. And you have to do that every time. And so it's yeah, it's like turning a ratchet. <laughs> um, yeah, not fun, not fun normally, but the, the using the sort of like more fluid side scrolling uh, style is much more effective, I think. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh, I always do that first. I never mean to do that first, but I keep doing that first. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I say, always say it a second time. So, uh, and as always. <laughs>